Been busting my for a minute, I swear that I don't get rid of apprehension I try to play you the things on my mind, but you don't let me finish my sentence I lost some battles, I lived in my life just because I ain't learning my lessons Now I'm going to war You know what for? Said I'm going to war You 
Kino for Kino for This be given anxiety I do not know how to breathe And I swear that these people are gonna get tired of me Right in the things that I mean And I know that they never expected a sight of me Know that it ain't what it seem I be feeding all of my ambition to rivalry But courtesy ain't give me nothing So I'm going to war Told you that I wear my heart on my sleeve And I ain't letting people inside of me Not till they mess with my energy I don't want nobody temporary Know all these people be tripping me over They thinking they getting ahead of me Not till you scared of me Said I'm going to war You know what for Said I'm going to war you know a fool, you know a fool, said I'm going to war. You know a fool, said I'm going to war. You know a fool, you know a fool. Wait, I'm in my element. How can I communicate though when all of these people ain't seeing my relevance? Sleeping on me just because I ain't pushing you, thinking that I'm lacking confidence. I don't need no validation from someone who get validation from compliments. Yeah, this is common sense. Gonna be merciless. I've been too nice to these people. They thinking that mercy is something that's healing sin. I am a healer of people and I like my people, but I am still venomous. Hope all my people are watching. I hope you're listening. I hope you're hearing this. I hope you're hearing this. Said I'm going to war. You know a fool. Said I'm going to war. Yeah. You know a fool. You know a fool. Said I'm going to war. Yeah, yeah, you know a fool. Said I'm going to war. Yeah, you know a fool. You know a fool. Going to war. Of the night, so for December 2005. Homies, they put me at ends of a barrier. I had a switch on them just to survive. Move the whole country and put it aside. Look back at all that I've done, sacrifice. What does a profit when profit is nothing? And all that I do keeps the demons alive. Now I'm alive, it don't feel right. Surrounded by people who mess up my tights. All of these people who tip them my skill all because they be claiming they're dead by my side. Cloud on my skies. I try to think for myself, but they're pulling a load of the flies. My past with no present and future, so my future is through out of sight. I'm a mood killer. See the way I'm moving it up. Trying to move to me, trying to kill my energy with your fantasies. You wanna end me, you wanna take me, and that don't affect me. I'm a mood killer. Don't make me wanna prove to you. Why are you trying to? Trying to kill my energy with your fantasies. You wanna end me, wanna tempt me. I try to kill all my sadness and glasses. My chalice will shut this, my outlet of facet. I done make friends with the moon, she embarrassed. Cause I see my future whenever she passes. I made a lover of trauma, relationship status be saying I might be an addict. You take the mile of my shoes with the ordinary news that you find that I'm somewhat imbalanced. Never was callous. I wear my heart on my sleeve so my soul will be deep in my pockets. I make mistakes that I don't know I make till I make. I'm a talent, but I ain't no prophet. I got these skeletons up in my closet. Walk through the valley of death and depression. So when I be telling you that I ain't interested, interest is luxury and I'm a. Say the way I move it on. Try to kill my energy with your fantasies. You wanna end me, you wanna tell me. Yeah, that don't affect me, I'm a mood killer. Don't make me wanna prove to you. Try to prove to me, try to kill my energy with your fantasies. You wanna end me, you wanna tell me. Yeah, that don't affect me. And I hope that I treat me well. Only time, only time, only time will tell Forgive myself when I need help So I 
Wow, do you see how slowly I'm walking towards mm -hmm. you? It's because I am so moved by the lyrics, the words that you spit out. You're speaking some form of Eminem, I'm not afraid. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, you're giving us lyrics that has inspiration by Maya Angelou, like, like the Phoenix I Fly. Mm -hmm. Wow, speak to us about neurodivergentism and what it has to do with the African modern society, neurodivergence? I think the topic of neurodivergence isn't accurately or, you know, completely or, you know, approached or known about in detail in the African context. And it's especially difficult because therapy isn't as accessible. Mm -hmm. And so ultimately there's stigma around neurodivergence. And from someone as someone who suffers from a personality disorder, um, it took me a while to get to where I am. And I feel like if other people were as open to the experience and as knowledgeable about the experience, it would go a long way in the West African context. And how do you encapsulate all of that into your music? Um, I try to not be too under nose about it because I'm not a <laughs> professional. Um, I can only speak from my experience. But the idea, and I guess the idea of Haven is to give you some sort of comfort, consolation, understanding that it's okay, you're validated in what you feel, and it's like real, it's a real experience. And even if it might not be real to the people around you, it's real to you, and that's enough. You're Nigerian, what's a Nigerian name? <laughs> and where in Nigeria do you come from? Um, Enugu, I'm Igbo, so I come from Enugu. Enugu I was, state. Yeah, I was raised in my early years in Enugu. Um, as for my Nigerian name, it's <laughs> personal to me because like, you know, that's right. what I get called at home okay. and stuff, so yeah. I can understand that. Mm -hmm. So you adopted the name Haven. Yeah. So you could inspire the world. I mean, Haven was a safe space for me. Um, it was a time, it was a manifestation of a time that I felt like I was going through hell and I needed some sort of consolation. I needed, you know, a knight in shining armor. I needed a hero and I didn't have that. So I had to become that person for myself. And by extension, I seek to, you know, become that person for other people. Or hopefully they can find solace in the music. Do you do performances, like art performances, apart from something like this, a gig? Oh yeah, definitely. I love performing. I actually started performing before I went into the studio. Um, some of my favorite performances have been Jameson Connects um, and Ashesi, and recently um, Pierre Akan's show. Oh, so like, yeah, I feel like performances is that time for me to actually communicate and speak to people. And yeah. So you stream too? Um, not as much as I would like. Why? <laughs> um, technicalities, um, I'm more focused on the actual performing. Um, I'm seeking to, or in the process of building a team around that will you know, get the technicalities done. But Do you yeah. have a particular song out? Yes, I have a song that just came out called Era. Hmm. Um, I think I went on a hiatus for like a year and eight months. Um, trying to figure out my mental health, mm -hmm. how to deal with people, how to be around people, how to integrate into society as someone who's like openly neurodivergent. And I think ERA encapsulates everything that happened throughout that year and I think it can resonate with a lot of people. Do you have it out there already? Yeah, it came out last week, Friday, um, mm -hmm. and I'm so excited about it. The love that I've been getting back has been so overwhelmingly good and yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. That's awesome. Would you perform a piece from it for us? I did. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it that was, was the first one. Mm -hmm, that was the mm -hmm. first one. Mm -hmm. It was a very mm -hmm. slow down version, 
but I thought this would be the perfect time to, you know, perform it more intimately. Intimately. Yeah. That's beautiful. We really appreciate your voice. Thank Where do you get most of the support from? My family, um, my sister, um, both of my parents were into the arts, so that was kind of, I didn't have to struggle That's with easy. that. Yeah, <laughs> That's easy. Yeah, I didn't have easy. to struggle with that aspect. <laughs> Um, my sister um, is one of my biggest supporters. She bought me my entire studio, and I Aww. keep saying this, but I'm very grateful. Um, also, I have friends as well. I have 99 Phases. I have Ellie, Ni, Nova, um, Tyreek. I'm just shouting out people. <laughs> but like, I have people who keep my head above water um, when it's getting you know, a little bit tough. Do you yeah. think with the type of music you give, there'll be a time or a point in our lives where neurodivergence will be accepted, psychotherapy will be accepted, and then mental health will be treated better. I think we're definitely moving towards that with the you know new generation that's coming up and with the new music and with the new sound and with a lot of artists that I've had the fortunate um, you know experience of meeting like Ria Boss and you know other artists like Black Sheriff okay. that are you know propelling the narrative. the narrative i think we're definitely going towards that and people are definitely becoming more comfortable with admitting that they're not okay and that's okay and that's okay mm -hmm. if you have any um, social media platforms that people can reach out to you on you could please let us know and then a number to call if you're not on the management if you are you still let us know um at the moment i have um you know instagram which is haven official which is h-a-e-v-e-n official and then on twitter haven official underscore although twitter i do be talking but like yeah um and why you don't be talking on twitter i do i talk too much a little too much on twitter <laughs> um and then on email official haven at gmail though home should be fine if you do forget it's on my social on media your social page. media and a number um, not yet yeah. <laughs> okay he's been she's been protective mm -hmm. okay we've been speaking to haven she is an amazing artist i'm i'm calling her she does poetry into music she does a whole reform on how to make yourself know that you're okay mm -hmm. even if you're going through a mental instability mm -hmm. trust me it's okay not to be okay and it's also okay mm -hmm. for you to speak out and that is through her music so you can find her on all social media platforms haven Take us away. Thank you so much for 